Hi there, thank you so much for watching and welcome to some extreme cleaning motivation. Today's gonna to be part one of a deep clean slash plaque with me as I get ready to move out of my apartment. There's so much to do, so grab your coffee and let's get started. As always, I'm starting with the kitchen. It's always the messiest, so if I can clean that, then I feel like I accomplished a lot. I'm unloading the dishwasher so I can make room for anything that's new, that's dirty. And one thing I'm really looking forward to is all of the cabinet space in the new house. This apartment was a big downgrade in terms of kitchen space, but we made do. And also we have a much larger pantry that I cannot wait to renovate and share that with you as well. this about two or three weeks ago so right before we started packing and every time I move I deep clean ahead of time so that way during my final week in the apartment I don't need to spend too much time cleaning and doing that you're already doing a lot by just moving your furniture and all of your things so doing it this way makes moving an absolute breeze and then the last thing you need to do is just touch up um, like Windex and vacuum and sweep and you're good to go. Also, I'm recording this like right before we're about to move and everything has stayed relatively clean in the kitchen. There are a few daily cleaning chores left to do so be on the lookout for a final apartment clean with me coming soon. Pinesol is my absolute favorite multi-purpose cleaner. I always feel like a space is clean after I use it. It's a really good disinfectant as well and I also like to use it on the floors. If you have pets, it's definitely something you should check out and they have different scents if you don't really like the pine scent. But I don't know why, but I just feel like the, like the original pine scent is what makes my space feel really, really clean. Should I let the party be?
right, now I'm moving on to my stove top and I evenly coat the glass top cleaner with a pair of gloves and I let it sit for about 30 minutes before scrubbing. I think I've shown this in a couple clean with me's, but it gets your stove top really, really, really clean. And even though I'm in an apartment, I really like to take care of everything because that just means I don't have to pay a deposit fee for things that are dirty or damaged when I move out. And tomorrow's far away. Should I let the party to let that sit and I'm gonna be tackling the oven I like to use this five minute oven cleaner it works like a charm they have the original and then this five minute one but honestly get this one guys the smell is really bad so you have to open a window but honestly you do not have to scrub the oven and I like to use this about once a month if I don't it just like builds up use this and it works like a charm the dirt and the grime just falls off of course there are parts that will need a second coat um, but honestly I didn't need to scrub that much and it only took me 30 minutes to clean the whole oven when we moved in the like the um, refrigerator and the oven and the microwave were honestly dirty. So I'm just trying to get it back to a clean condition. So when we move out of here, we don't get charged for anything. Now won't you meet first time watching one of my videos hello and welcome my name is Janetta and my boyfriend and I just purchased our first home here in Atlanta over the next few weeks I'll be sharing our moving journey from our two-bedroom apartment to our new house so I hope you'll enjoy give this video a like if you did and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content like this I film all different types of content from lifestyle beauty some plants so gardening, so I film everything on this channel and there's probably going to be a video that you enjoy. Leave me a comment down below what videos you'd like to see next from me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Come, come, come with me. I'm gonna get this party lit. Come, come, come with me. Let's do something we'll regret. kitchen and I'm now vacuuming the living room this is the area where our dog Brooklyn likes to hang out and we congregate here so there's lots of hair and treat crumbs over here and I pretty much vacuum this area about once a week <laughs> I know my boyfriend likes to vacuum this area a lot more but I just feel like we're always vacuuming We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can't even touch us, we found a different beat 
Paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves Ooh, getting caught in the mist There's so many that never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we're golden, we run to the end And we run without shame I'm really going to miss this apartment living space setup. I loved how minimal and like cozy everything is with my plants and my little couch and my coffee table. We're switching things up a lot in the house, pretty much getting all new home decor. So nothing will look the same, but I cannot wait to share with you. And first things first is a much bigger couch that is comfy and large and big enough to fit Quentin, Brooklyn, and I. It is getting dark and the last task for the day is scrubbing out the sink and wiping off the island before I end the night. I like to alternate between using baking soda or barkeeper's friend in the sink just to make it nice and fresh and get rid of any food that's stuck on there. Also, I know in this video I didn't really get to the refrigerator, but there should be a really deep clean refrigerator video coming up soon in my next clean with me, so be on the lookout for that. Come on, shine. next day and we're almost done with this clean with me if you made it this far thank you so much for spending your time with me don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post and notification bell so you don't miss my next video and i'll see you soon bye